Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Menti, and this is the Brawl... Er, the Battleship Brawl... Oh, wow, this is off to a great start already. Episode 1 of the Battleship Brawl Tournament. Um, we have the Gladius Pocket Battleship by Brix facing the Hamster Cruisers by Zionix. I don't know what Zionix's deal is with hamsters. They are adorable, but he loves making just hamster ships. <laughs> I'm not sure what that, that pink aura around them is. Must be a light or something. It's strange, but anyway, unlike what I did in, in the Cruiser Clash, if any of you watching this have seen those, I did overview videos on the ships in that one. Um, this time I'm just going to do an overview video of a, a, a brief overview, got a text there, uh, a brief overview of each ship on its first battle to, to sort of give some insight into it. Um, on the inside of the hamsters here we got some fuel uh, you know, spread around a little bit. It's a little pontoon boat boat looking thing with these hamster turrets on top. That uh what are what are those? I'm not sure what block that is. Hmm. But anyway, hamster turrets with uh cram cannon noses. For a grand total of six of them. They're they're all the uh the same they're all the same ship, just three of them. It's got a upside down forward mounted rudder and two on the back. It's propulsion. It, it's a fairly simple ship. How, how much? Uh, how big are these actual cram cannons? Is the, the actual cram cannon parts there? They're inside the hamster itself. It seems, not down in the hull. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, well, we'll see how this goes. Is uh, hamsters tend to not be the most deadly of fighting creatures in the world, but you never know. Zionix could surprise us all. And over here we have the Gladius Pocket Battleship by Brix that I introduced earlier, which I look at this thing and I go, yeah, that's a battleship. That it definitely has that that look to it. Um, probably a little bit of the earlier line of battleships with only having three turrets with two barrels each, but still very much a battleship. Uh, it's got the superstructure, a bridge, the the radar towers, the smokestacks. Let's see what's inside. Huh. Got, even got some steps. Yeah, I went way further in the aesthetics that I, than I did. Uh, I got the guns themselves in the armor here. Uh, one thing about this was with this thing being as big as it is, I kind of expected it to have more guns. Like it, it seems like uh, the Gladius here is uh, a little a little lacking in firepower for its size but I could be wrong the, the these these six barreled guns may just be you know immensely powerful pieces of warfare it does have a lot of open space in it though which w will help it absorb and mitigate some of the damage from crams but anyway yeah so those are the two ships facing off in this episode this tournament is going to be double elimination that means that the uh, you have to lose twice in order for a ship to be eliminated from the tournament this will include the finale at the end of the tournament whoever wins the secondary bracket is going to have to defeat defeat their opponent in the f in the final twice in order to uh, I mean twice by and by twice I mean in two matches, in two best of three matches, so it'll basically bet be best of seven. In a way, though not exactly. They'll have to win four times before their opponent wins twice. Uh, and that, Because it is double elimination, so everybody is going to have to be, lose twice in order to be eliminated. The, uh, the matches go for ten minutes, just like the Cruiser Clash. Uh, Hmm. And yeah, it's best two out of three. Only a five percent health difference needed to win. If uh, actually, you know, it's a five percent health difference. But what happens is that if there's not a five percent difference at the end of the time, I'll add a little bit more time to it and let it play out a little longer, and then check to see if there's a five percent difference. And af if after a while, if there's still not a five percent difference, I'm going to give it to the one with the most hit points left, you know, the most total hit points left. 
So, uh, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get this uh, first battle here underway. Uh, the four contestants settling into the water, bringing their guns around. Cram cannons do not spawn in loaded, so they uh, all of the weapons have to reload. So there will be a bit of a lull in the beginning of the battle every time. Closing the distance up, oh, Gladius is the first to fire, firing pure explosive rounds, which missed. The hamsters fire back with some, uh, look like, those look like some pen depth fused shells. Uh, did some damage. Gladius seems to be holding up so far. Oh, big hit there. Lots of damage probably done there. Uh, it actually doesn't seem like there was a whole lot. It is down to 87%, and it got some, uh, Definitely got some blocks ripped off there. Oh! Friendly fire! Friendly fire! That hamster in the back hit its buddy. Oh, and it just took another big hit in the passing in this approach. Is not going well for this uh, hamster cruiser at all. The Gladius is 100%. So far, the hamster cruisers have been unable to do any re significant damage. Those, um, act that looked like it was actually a timed fuse. It, it detonated before it impacted there. Oh, this hamster cruiser has lost its uh, its forward hamster. Yeah, the, the poor hamsters are getting uh, pretty badly beaten up by the Gladius here. Oh, that was a pretty big hit. St this one is down to 63%. The other one back over there is down to 79%. And this one over here has yet to feel the ire of the Gladius' main guns. And the Gladius' armor is proving to be quite thick, quite tough. It is not taking much in the way of damage. But it, it is having a little bit of trouble, like you just saw there, with uh, landing shots on these uh, hamsters. But, yeah, those, those are not very powerful shells on the hamsters. They are not doing a whole lot of damage. They are doing some, but... I mean, the Gladius is at 97% still. Oh, and it seems like one of the uh, the hamsters has despawned. Oh, the rear gun on the Gladius firing away here, and landing. Blowing off a bit of the, uh, the side pontoon there, and a little hole in the front. The hamster seems okay for now, but... It just does not look like these hamsters have enough punch to do significant damage to the Gladius. The Gladius is a very tanky ship. So I was commenting earlier about how it felt like the uh, the Gladius was a little bit... Oh, did we lose the other hamster too? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It's kind of flopped over in the water. But, I mean, the, the hamsters are landing, you know, consistent shots on the Gladius, but they are not doing a whole lot of damage. It, it is taking the hits and just fighting on. In true battleship style. Oof. Yeah, those, that was a good hit as well. Looks like it hit in here, punched into that secondary spot, detonated and blew some blocks up, but it's, it's still, and I mean, the Gladius is... Oh, the Gladius actually took a big hit to one of its guns here. Lost a bit of firepower. This forward gun seems to be uh, stuck. Hasn't realized that it can turn and fire on that other hamster, but at the same time, it the Gladius is just one of its guns. One of its dual-barreled guns is proving to be enough to cause the hamster some serious pain. This this gun may be damaged and uh, inoperable. At least one of the cannon, one of the barrels, at the moment. But this rear gun is it's doing work. Oh, it looks like the uh, the hamster here has capsized and is unable to bring its guns to bear properly. Now the Gladius is firing on the... Oh, no, it was AI dead and has been eliminated. Now the Gladius is firing on this hamster, which is completely capsized and firing its gun upside down. <laughs> Let's see if that shell actually manages to hit. It would be pretty hilarious if it did. Uh, nope. Fell short. Detonated in the water. I'm curious as to why the- oh, there it goes. The Gladius' gun has finally figured out that it can turn and fire. But yeah, the, the Gladius is just... The, the firepower on the hamsters is just simply not enough to do anything significant, it, it's seeming. Oh, what's the range on these? 
Oh, geez, there's 1,700 meters out. They're well outside the, the proper range. I should have checked that sooner. Though, at this point, it, it's not going to matter, I don't think. It just might make the battle end a little bit sooner. Because this, depending on whether or not the Gladius can catch this thing. Yeah, it's actually expanding in distance. It's pulling away from the Gladius. So this, uh, this hamster may end up getting disqualified for being out of range. So the maximum range in this tournament is the is one kilometer. The, the distance that you spawn at is as far out as you're allowed to go. And oh, it is despawning. I'm not sure what happened there to get it killed, but it is it is definitely dead. The hamsters have been defeated. Uh, the gladius just refused to take damage. Its armor proved to be way too tough for the hamsters to do any significant damage to. Uh, we will see if that happens a second time. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is a best 2 out of 3 tournament. One loss is not enough to get things uh, eliminated. So we'll get out here. Get them... Eh, that, should, that should be good. I, I saw... I, I didn't pause the... Uh, the game right before loading in the hamsters, but it was only a fraction of a second. It's not gonna, it's not gonna make a big deal or make a big difference. It's not a big deal. Okay. Oh. Well. So remember to spawn things a little higher, because I mean I was above the water there, but for some reason the gladius is down in it. Anyway, get the timer reset. Get this second battle started. We'll see if the hamsters can actually manage to pull off some damage this time. But yeah, with that, with that slight beginning thing, it's not going to make a huge difference with the crams needing to load beforehand. I mean, we're talking maybe two-tenths of a second there before I actually got the game paused like it was supposed to be. No, I, I don't see any issues there. I mean, the Gladius got his shots off first anyway, so it's fine. But yeah, see, they took a f it took a full volley from the hamsters and lost 1% health. Like, the armor on the Gladius is extremely tough. and But its guns are very effective at killing hamsters. Oof, just saw that hamster's face get blown off. Poor thing. I think this one might be dead. Uh, no, not quite. It's a 70%. The like Gladius is just moving on, just tanking the shots. Not caring. Oh, it it did die. Why did it die? Did it it might it might have been below 80 percent in sinking. That's the only thing I can think of there. Because it still had its AI and it was about it was at like 70 percent health. So and without the uh, the interface on, it's hard to see that sort of thing. But yeah, that that hamster is dead, and the Gladius is working on its second target now. And the the hamsters are landing hits. They are definitely landing their shots, but when their shots land, they just aren't strong enough. Nope, not 80% in sinking yet, but the next volley will probably cause it to be too damaged and despawn. Unless, of course, it misses, because the, uh, the ship is sort of capsizing again. But at this range, I would imagine the crant, the uh, AI will eventually get a proper shot in. Yeah, there you go. That was a that was a hit, and more shots coming in from the hamsters hitting the uh, the gladius here. But gladius is still at 95%, and most of that damage has been from taking hits to its gun here. It, it seems to have lost its back turret. But. It's just, the only chance the hamsters would have would be to quickly eliminate all three guns on the Gladius, and then just slowly but surely chip away at its armor. But they just aren't able to do that, and as soon as the Gladius starts firing on one of them, they, they do not last very long. Oh, that one seems to have despawned as well, probably got to 80% and sinking. So it was despawned. Shame they're cute little things, but they are not 
the most effective uh, fighting force out there. And now the, the uh, that hamster is in an interesting position. The, the Gladius is unable to bring its guns to bear on that last hamster. And it's just raining shells down on it, but it's just not strong enough. That, that cram does not do enough to the Gladius's armor. This is most definitely a battleship that is just taking the hits and not caring. It could bring its guns to bear now, but the AI is, uh... It, it hasn't figured that out yet. It'll probably have to turn a little bit more. And get the... get its... Yep, there, there goes the front cannon. Realized, oh hey, I can aim at this enemy. And there's the other one. I'm not sure why the AI does that, but it is a very common thing where if they get pointed in one direction and they uh, aren't actually, if they're actually stuck on part of the hull or something, they'll, uh... oh, the hamster got completely blown off by that shell. Ouch. But if, uh... oh, yeah, it is, that is an AI dead hamster. That is it. The Gladius has won. But it's, like I was saying, if the uh, if a turret gets stuck on a, on the hull, the AI has difficulty figuring out that it can turn around in the other direction and uh, actually aim at its opponent. But that was a that was a very deci decisive victory for the Gladius here. It ha it has won. It will be moving on to round two of the primary back bracket, while the hamsters will be moving down to the secondary bracket. Uh, it's not the last we'll see of Zionics, Zionics ships here. They will get another chance to redeem themselves. Um, but the, the Gladius was definitely the victor here. It, it just... Uh, its armor was just way too tough for the hamsters weapons to do any real damage to. So, uh, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the battlefield.